away. They will finish one dimensional kinematics with a demonstration. which is a live experiment showing you how nature ought to work. This is what we have. Two balls. One yellow, one green. And what we're going to do is race them. We're going to place the balls here and start them at the same time. And as you can see, The green ball goes through a track that is bent and then straighten up again, whereas the yellow ball goes along a straight path. We're going to race them, they start at the same time, and the question is which ball will reach the end first? Okay, got it? The question? So, what are the possibilities? The possibilities are. The ball on the straight track will reach the end first. Number one. Let's write them down. A straight track. B bent track. And C, what's the possibility C? Same time. Same time. Okay. I will ask you to vote what you think is the case. And I will present you with three arguments why each one of these looks correct. Straight track. Well, after all, they're moving at the same speed when they reach the flat piece. This distance is shorter than this distance. Therefore, since they start with the same speed, the ball that covers the shorter distance will take less time. And will reach the end first. OK? The bent track argument <coughs> says, yeah, but what happens is when this uh, green ball reaches here, it accelerates, it's moving faster, and if it's moving faster, it's going to pull away, and yeah, well, maybe here it's going to slow down, but because it has pulled away, it will reach the end first. This argument says, well, yes, maybe so, but this ball <coughs> will accelerate, well, this one, this ball will accelerate, and then the speed that it picks up when it goes back up again is slowing, it's slowing down. The two events, or the two situations, will cancel each other out, and the ball will reach the end at the same time. Got it? OK. Which one do you buy? How many people? You have to vote. You cannot say, I'm undecided. You have to vote one way or another. And if you're wrong, that's OK. Nothing horrible will happen to you. <laughs> How many people now say straight track? Let's see a show of hands. Don't be afraid to vote your conscience here, okay? <laughs> no peer pressure. One, I see it. I saw four. Maybe four, yeah. Four to five, five. people, okay? Rough. Very timid votes. Except for one guy. How many people say bent track? Uh, two, three, four, <laughs> There's one back there. Looks like again four to five. Four to five to six. Okay, yeah. let's say five to six. How many people say the same time? Every Whoa, everybody! <laughs> wow. Science, science by democracy. The rest, science by democracy. <laughs> Gotta work. <laughs> Nature is not a democracy. <laughs> Nature is not a democracy. Nature wants it in a certain way, so watch carefully. What does it look like? 
Now, why is that the case? This is what we're going to examine. Because green is faster. Green is faster? Okay, it says green is faster. So let's flip the, trick the ball. ball and see whether now the bent track still wins. Besides, you get to see it again. It's a fun <laughs> thing. <laughs> Okay. All right. The answer why this is the case, you already know. You already know the answer, except that you haven't made the connections. And I will show you how you already know the answer. Let's imagine these cars, these being cars, traveling on the highway, the interstate. And they're moving at, say, 60 miles an hour, both of them. <coughs> You've reached that situation. You've seen what happens. They move together, they move together, they move together. And then when it comes here, the, this driver here pushes on the accelerator and accelerates. And if it's 60 miles an hour, let's say when he reaches there, so it's at 65 miles an hour. This guy's still going at 60. 65, 60, 65. Now, he puts on the brakes and slows down back to 60. Is he going to be at the same position as that guy or is he going to be ahead? What do you think? He's already pulled away. He's passed the car. That's how we pass cars. We pass cars and then we slow back down again. All right? If you don't believe that argument, let me give you another argument. Because really what we're talking about is functions and derivatives. Derivatives being the rate of change. Say you have two people, and instead of position from a certain point, we talk about money in the bank, okay? And these two people have the same salary, and they each put $100 away for a savings account. They start at zero. Every month, $100. One month, how much do they have? 100. Next month, 200. Next month, 300. At this point, this guy works overtime and he puts away 150. Next month, 300 and 350. Next month, 300 and 400. And then, if he stops working overtime and goes back to $100 a month, is he going to have more? or the same amount of money in his bank account? More, obviously. That's the function, that's the derivative. And you already knew the answer, but you need to make the connection. And one more lesson here is nature is not a democracy. <laughs> but a lot of people buy into this argument, and that's what I'm trying to show you. A lot of people buy into this argument that if you have two things going in opposite directions, they cancel each other out. And we know that physics is all a trick thing, and things are always the same when they don't look to be the same, and so on and so forth. Not true. Use this to figure it out and what you know. Okay. Any questions? All right. 